Let's do our next section, the about section. So we're going to do, let's break it up. About. And we'll start with a section tag. Mm -hmm. And we can give that a little bit of space. And let's give that section tag an ID now. ID equals section. No, not section. About. About. Okay. So now we can copy this. We can go to style. We can. It's an ID. So what symbol do I use? Nice. Curly brace. Boom. I want to space out, space out my codes, my styles. And this is going to be the about section. About styles. Okay. All right. And on my about part, tab, we're going to do padding 100 px, top and bottom, and zero right to left. We want display flex. Flex. Uh, line dash items can be center. Can be center. All right. Let's get this organized. And flex wrap. And we're going to make a wrap. Set it to wrap. Good. All right. So I've got a little bit of space now to work with. All right. Now on my about section, we will give it, we'll start with div. In this div, we're going to give it a class, class equals about dash left column, good, and we can go ahead and copy that because we're going to have two columns. But this one will be right column in our left column first. We're going to give it an image. As our C equals images forward slash about and then I can close that nice uh, um, I want that image though in this left column thing so delete that and put it here div image closing div you see Okay, and let's see what that looks like. All right, so here's my second image, and it's huge, huge. Hey, you notice how the nav bar stays? That's fresh. Look at that. Okay, 
So now let's organize this bill. Boom, boom, boom. So what we'll do first is can copy this. Go to your CSS. It was a class, right? So I put the dot and then curly ba brace, boom. And we want flex basis to be 50%. Say it. Good. Flex basis 50%. Saved it, yes. Flex basis, 50%. Okay, and I'm gonna do this as well. There we go. Copy, paste, space. Now I wanna target that image because that is too big. And my width is going to be 100% of that section, of that side. There. So because uh, of the, my flex basis, it needs to be 50%, 50% of that page. And now my picture is going to be 100% 100 of that section that I have, the about left column. Boom, boom. So now it's nicely on the left side of the page. Okay, and now I got my right column. We can also apply that there, so here left column but I want it to be right right column again flex, flex basis 50% the other 50% and I'm gonna make text align center. All right, let's put some let's put some text in there. Okay. Whoa, no yawning. All right. Boom boom. Div class. All right, this this is how we're gonna style our about text. About dash text. Boom. Okay. And we're gonna give it a title. An H one about us and we're going to do a little square thing we can actually instead of rewriting it remember the dry principle don't repeat yourself let's actually we can take let's do all of that do all of this Yeah, let's copy that. We don't want to always retype things out. File save. Make sure it's that span. We got our little paragraph, and then we got our button we've already created. Um, cross out the button. We're not going to use the button here though. No. Okay. Uh, but I do want the lines. Like we did. Right here, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, just like that. We're gonna use that. 
Let's give it also a H2 now, like a subheading. H2. And so I got a. So remember in the comments, I got all this information. Use this actually for your paragraph. Copy. Boom. Just highlight this over here. It just lays out nicer. Paste. And then I have a quote. Copy. And then I'll put that quote in my H2. Boom, boom, boom. And you gotta give credit to where you got the quote, right? And I got the quote. Give it an H3, a sub subheading. Put two dashes, uh, three dashes. Uh, from Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett, bu 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 Buffett. File save, boom. All right, got our H2 there, got our H3 three there. Uh, we got our closing div, and I did it again. So all of this, I want to be inside this right column. So you can take out this closing one and put it under, and then you're organized. Organized. Good, good, good. All right. Ready, ready, ready. Okay. Doing great, doing great. Save. Now let's style that, because that is not what I want. All right, so I saved it. Nice, it's on the right side, awesome. But that doesn't look nice. Let's clean it up. Okay. Okay. All right, so we got right column. So now the text. So we can go here. About text, this is what we're going to style. Boom. Curly brace. Max. Width. Two dots. 500px. Margin. Right, 100 px, and then display inline block. All right, nice, a little better, a little better. Text and line, I'm not liking the center. Let's go right. There we go. Great. Now this is looking a little big. So now we can go we want to target the H2 in here. Margin 50 px, top and bottom. No, that's just going to be top. Zero, right to left, and then the bottom will be 10 px. Good. 
font size. Twenty-eight PX semicolon and then font style italic. Skills. Ah, italic. It's good. Font size. And now Same, let's copy it, but for an hour H3. Boom, boom, H3. Let's put all sides around to be 20 PX. I meant to make our font size 20 px and color let's change up the color to be that gray that we did nice all right woo Boom, boom, boom. That looks much better. Alrighty. About section finished.